Hello. Okay, so one sec. First gameplay footage. Enjoy. Jesus. Jesus, I almost made it in time. Almost in making it in time. Almost. You will know what hits you. Let me have some fun. Let's get this mission started. Finally, Jesus, my work just finished right right in the nick of time. What the fuck? A guile? Yeah, that's definitely guile was obviously confirmed. Oh, sorry. This is me just jumping up soon after work. Okay. You know, I don't know, man. I feel like Street Fighter still looks Street Fighter. I mean, obviously, yeah, they did um, improve the graphics and shit, but Street Fighter still looks Street Fighter. Guy's got a beard now? Maybe I'm maybe I'm just thinking that way because I was never never a fan of Street Fighter, anyways. Never played it. It wasn't my childhood game. So I never haven't had a connection towards it, you know. It's all about the cone. Alright. Next it's time for a brand new game announcement here. Brand new Check this. Second? Eight? Nah. What is century get? Is it uh Gotham Knights? Gotham Knights. Could be Gotham Knights. Could be Gotham Knights. No wait, no. Take that back. I take that back immediately. Locate the comsat relay and bring it back online. We found the relay. But it was a problem. Call of Duty? Hey, what's up, H.A.? Welcome back. Shh. You're watching something. Shh. How's it going, H.A.? Aliens? Could be aliens. Chaos. No, wait. This wasn't human. Zombies, ex guns, aliens. Did this game come out already? This game came out already, no? A brand new. Glad that they're using old alien. If you look at the new alien movie, it looks very, very comical. I don't know what I saw in there. Aliens. I'll tell you. Aliens. Aliens we guns. Probably we are, maybe. And someone needs to know. Oh, wait. Aliens? Dark Descent? Wait, is this a sequel to that alien game? No, it can't be. Oh, it's a top down. It's a top down. Isometric game. Eh. That was Aliens Dark Descent, and it's coming in 2023 to console and PC. Next, two years ago at the Game Awards, we revealed the Callisto Protocol from the creative forces behind the Dead Space franchise. Today, I oh, so they were the devs for people who made the uh, Dead Space. Look very, very similar. Schofield cut of the brand new trailer with a little more gore. 
Top down games, yeah. I mean, some top down, top down games are good, but not all of them. Diablo, V Rising, Battle of Exile, pretty good isometric top down games. Ooh, this looks rough, man. Is it running at 60? Take a look outside. Did you know that they call Callisto the dead moon? Dead. Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. So whatever you're holding. It really does give me um returnal vibes. A little bit with the astronaut suit and everything. No, not gonna, not gonna lie, this game does look really good. It's on Dead Space, but it does look really good. Same creators from Dead Space. Eesh. And yeah, this is the same trailer we saw at the... Uh, Cedar Play event. Isn't this just what we saw at the state of play? They're showing it again. This might be new. Hey, what's up, FPS? Welcome back. Watching some uh, game, summer game fest. This is new. This is new. I think I got grinded. Grind. Yeah. Uh, uh, wow, actually, holy shit. Welcome to your new home. Holy, holy, holy sh Nice what? Wait, what? H A U K? That's right, we know what you wanted to see. Dece oh, December yeah, oh it's coming on December second. First of all, I'm so hungry right now. Holy shit. I just jumped on as soon as I finished work. Because this game, the, this, I'm sorry, this event decided to stream exactly at 7. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, thanks for having us. I really do appreciate it, Jeff. Um, and, you know, for a second, just give me a second. You know, I want to thank you uh, for all you've done for the game industry uh, all these years, man. I, I think I've known you like 16, 17 years now. And... Uh, um, you Damn, is is uh, his put his putting in the yeah uh, for what's it called the friendship status or the or no use status? I've known you for hundred years, man. Come on, what what have I known you for? What hundred years now? Damn. To show this game, so people saw the trailer, but what I'm so excited today is that you just brought a raw gameplay sequence. This game is in development, and people are gonna be blown away. I think when they see it. Time what FPS? No. Fuck you, I'm time you out, H. It's two segments in the first half of the game. Uh, one is a med bay, another one is a power station, and you're going to see uh, some new enemies, some brutality, some uh, just about everything. We were showcasing a new uh, weapon called the grip. It's uh, like a gravity gun. The grip. The you got this new weapon, it's called the grip. It rips them apart. It's great. And, uh, and then check out the. Uh, the nice ending we have where we uh you know we usually will kill our main character jacob and in a very unique way and uh, uh <laughs> this is our definition of our nice ending we're gonna kill our main character inhumanely as possible let's rip out his face best thing that has happened to our game right now i gotta say again you know what you guys are shipping this year it looks like a world-class next-gen game uh it's it's rare that teams are bringing something out like this this year and Let's let the footage speak for itself. Ben Schofield, striking distance. Here it is, the first gameplay of the Callisto Protocol. Oh, there's a gameplay. That's like a shit. Nice. Actual gameplay. Actual in-game gameplay. <laughs> Reminiscence of um, <laughs> Hit Hitman.
Shadow Man. That was uh, sudden. Did he just pull him to just to check him out? What was the point of that? Oh yeah, it's very dead space. It's very dead space. It's very dead space. It's super dead space. If you tell anyone, if you give anyone and tell them this is dead space, they'll definitely believe you. Dead space in the modern era. It's nice physics. Jesus, stop, it's already dead. My god. Humans are the real monsters in this game. Jesus. Oh, this is with the plot armor. Graphics are quite good, don't know about the story though. We, well, I don't think... Uh, I'm not even sure what the story is. You get showing off. Ew, gameplay mechanics. Yeah, so far it looks it's, it looks good. It's nothing special, but it looks good. It's not something like, that I would go like, oh shit for. Any any regular zombie sci-fi game that I've seen so far. Make sure. If I had to give my brutal opinion. Oh, 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 Fata oh, fatality, fatality. That just happens. All right, moving on. This October, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 arrives. In oh my God, another COD game? Are you kidding me? We have don't we have enough of those? And today we're about to show you the world premiere of its gameplay. World premiere. To tell us more, let's head to the port of Long Beach to check in. With Johanna Ferris. How many COD games did we have so far, man? Every year, I swear to God, there has to be a COD game. I mean, I'm not hating it, but still, though. Who's this? Joanna Ferris. I'll give her a call to you. COD. Pog. We are back. We are bigger. And we are bringing the entire team. Price. Gaz. Soap. Alejandro. And of course, Ghost. We needed a stage big oh, Ghost is back. to Call of Duty in a whole new way. Inspired by the world we're about to enter. Oil rigs, cargo ships, and staggering odds are just the beginning. Here is Modern Warfare 2. I haven't bought a COD game since. I haven't played a COD game since I last played with Red Ricks. Which game was that? Warzone? I think it was Warzone. Operation Darkwater, U.S. Atlantic coastline, 22nd October, 2022. Uh, Some numbers. And they're coming for Shadow. They're coming for Shadow. Oh, Black Ops War, really? Oh, I, I don't even know. Dude, they, they've come up with so many things, man. Who, who knows this shit? I don't, I don't even know what COD game is anymore. What is a COD game? Let's call it Call of Duty. No. Let's make it more confusing. Add more stuff in it. And then actually make another new card game, but still keep on adding more stuff to it. To the old card games. Make up your minds, goddammit. What do you want to do? Black Ops mode. Just call it Battle Royale for fuck's sake. Jesus, like any other video games do. No, we, we're special. We gotta go and call it Blackouts. Let's make it more confusing. So I'm just a hater, I'm sorry. I'm just a hater. Still like good things in life. Very cranky. I haven't eaten. Still, I'm very hungry. Very hangry. That guy got shot. All of a sudden. What was that guy doing? Oh, that guy was camping. That's like me. When I play Warzone. Or any... Uh, open the uh, what's survival fuck battle royale games stay in a corner want to take this outside well yeah 
No, listen, I'm giving my honest opinion, man. Come on. How many card games have you guys played? Jesus. Dude, I FPS, like, I almost forgot. So I got this guy today, and he accidentally bought some games, right? And one of the games was called, on PS4, um, Hentai vs. Zombies or something. And it's like, mm, listen, I got a game that I accidentally bought, which I didn't mean to. I'm like, okay. Can I split it? I'm like, okay. It goes like H3 NTA. I'm like, hmm, did you actually buy it accidentally, though? Did you, though? Hey, what's up, NASCAR? Welcome back. Watching some Game Fest, man, today. For PS4 and PS5, I think. Yeah, for the PS4. And I can clearly see that he's played the game. And he's like, I accidentally bought it. I didn't mean to buy it. Can I get a refund on this? I'm like, no, bruh. You bought this game and you played it and you liked it. Don't lie to me. It's, it's called it's called hentai versus something. I don't know what that thing is, but just hentai versus something something. It's an actual game on the PS4. You <laughs> tell me what these guys are horny. You guys are horny. That was insane. <laughs> That's because I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Where do you work? I work for PlayStation. Custom services. Ah, uh, customer services, HA. Customer service supports. Yeah, for PlayStation. Is that going hand tackle? I think so. Yeah, 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 exactly, 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 exactly. Plug me with that job, damn. I will try it. Let me see if I can plug you with everything. Makes you the manager directly. And it's work from home too, so it's pretty chill. Jesus. Looks ass, yeah, no wonder he wanted a refund on it. But he did play it, so that was like around 50% progress in it. So he did a, he did play a pretty chunky amount of it. And then he probably ran out of juice, you know, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. How long is this game trailer, man? Is, is this going to take up the entire game fest? What's going on? Like, like honestly, what what do you see happening here? It's the same thing that happens in any f uh, first person shooter games or any COD games. Go here, get this, get that, kill him, kill her, grab this, grab that, and you're done. New weapons, new 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 new. new. Is it, is it some, it's some kind of COD, NASCAR, I don't know what COD it is, but it's, it's, it's one of a COD. Apparently it's supposed to have ghosts in it. Like, how long was this playing now? 10 minutes almost? They did show off Street Fighter uh, during the first, the, a little bit of uh, Guile's trailer gameplay. Kind of missed that. Entry on the 
Don't walk that f tough section. No, it's it's an actual game, Matri. Like it's an actual game on the store. Like on the PlayStation. You would you think that it, PC would have a lot of games like that, right? But PlayStation consoles? Hmm. But it's an actual game. But I think it's, everything is blurred out. I don't think everything is. Mostly everything is censored. I think like feel like. Going crazy to a private video FPS. You've got all the tricks, man. All the tricks. This is engaging. Finally, it's over. Using Cognito Tab for some time to wink, wink, goddamn. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I feel like I've already seen people play this game. It doesn't look as easy. That's what we're talking about. And joining us now, up from Long Beach, Johanna, great to see you. How's everything? It's great. Thanks. Uh, great from Long Beach. From Their beaches are long. So we saw the first <laughs> gameplay. Thanks for that. Experience. Sorry, my nose is very itchy. Incredible. Uh, Jeff, tell us a bit about that mission. Uh, where is that set in the game? What are we seeing there? Absolutely. So um, first of all, we're really excited to welcome back. Uh, Cinematics uh, leader, Infinity War. And, Jeff. Uh, uh, Jeff has, Negus. Uh, that's his name. They're not, they're not actually in what we just saw today, but uh, they're returning members from One for One, and then the other two characters uh, that were you may recognize from the older franchise that we're reimagining are uh, Simon Jeff Negus Riley, and uh, of course uh, Soap Tavish, um, and then a couple other new characters in here that we're really excited uh, that we got. To <laughs> the best name I have ever seen, um, dude. I've got someone today named Phil Cox One at Gmail.com. Mexican Mexican. His actual name is uh, Phil Cox. I'm not even making this shit up. I cannot make this shit up. I swear to God. Someone's name was actually Philip Cox. Who's just as important as Task Force 141. Um, but as far as the level's concerned, um, you know, this, I, I got a shout out. I'm not making this up. I swear. You know, this was a, tr a tremendous collaboration across all the things I see, man. Uh, disciplines, as you saw. Everybody coming together, some really uh, motivated devs here, and uh, you know you saw the the wind and the. That's my next ever. That's my next Elden Ring character's name. Phil Cox, really? How the road you can slide? Oh man, yeah, good. You can imagine that, huh? Cover, and then suddenly that cover would shift and leave you exposed, but it also leaves the enemy exposed, creating this emergent gameplay. Um, so ag again, I'm I'm very excited. Just can't wait. That I'm so excited that we get to show it off today. And that's yeah. a hint of where, where things, things are going to go. Uh, Johanna, tell us a bit about Call of Duty overall. Modern Warfare 2, obviously, you know, so <laughs> excited to get back this year, but you got lots going on across Call of Duty. What can we expect? One family named yeah. Jack Cox. Yeah. That's all bad. It's year, Jack. We're so excited for October 28th. It's such a big moment, not just for Modern Warfare 2 and everything that Jeff and the team at Infinity Ward have built, but it really marks... The That's what I've been saying, Askar. Like, it's it's good that they're giving new COD games to people who like COD, but for me personally, who I don't enjoy this type of games, I'm interested, actually. Not enjoy them, just not interested. And they're having an extended trailer which lasts for like seven minutes, which takes up the entire presentation. Questionable. There will be a standalone... One of my like teachers uh, that left when I was in school was Scott. She was kind of bad though, damage. I don't know what to say to you, man. You gotta behave. Oh, behave! Behave! Oh, behave! Mobile as well for players on the go. We're we're on Steam, as you know. I mean, so it's just a big moment, and there's gonna be a lot more to come in the in the months to follow. Well, before I need to have the sound alert. I need to have the sound alert from Austin Powers. Oh, behave! Yeah, like a command or something. Fuck you, Jesus Christ. Shh. Watching something. Be, res be, be respectful. And behave. Even the court has been bland for... No, uh, Street Fighter 6. They showed Street Fighter 6 at the start of the presentation. Made Probably made a lot of people happy. to October. Thanks so much for giving us a first look at the gameplay Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Thanks Johanna and Jeff.
Um, all right, well, we've got lots more Summer Game Fest still to go. Give it to me. Time to announce a classic PC gaming franchise is coming back with a sequel over 30 years after its... Witcher? Witcher. 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 So I'm honored to share Witcher. this very first look. I was completely wrong. I take that back. What is this though? What are, are these devs? I watch God, he's the same blend just like in Street in Five. I don't know. I'm I'm trying to look with my eyes, man. I'm trying to process with my eyes and my brain at the same time. Some it's like an Xbox. Fridge flashback to what? What is this game? What? It's it's a sequel as well. <laughs> it's a mobile game. World premiere. You missed a couple of words there. It's it, which er Jesus which fire? You misspelled that. Read that back. So I don't even, I didn't even know that game existed. Apparently Jeff likes it. See shit. <laughs> oh my god, my nose, man. Another one. Yes, that's a big gun. What? Is this Dark Souls but first person? Elden Ring, but first person? Then let's go. Oh no, it's Doom mixed with uh, Elden Ring, X Skyrim, X Harry Potter, and some um, some Fortnite. Yeah, definitely. I was right. Is the game where you shoot to the music rhythm? I don't think this one is. I no, no, not this one. Not this one. I, I know what what you're talking about. But I don't think it's this one. It might be, but this was not the level I saw. Yeah, something like that. Metal Hell Rising or something. Might be. Look at that guy. In the name of Aura. Oh, what the function? Witch fire. No, this is different. That had way more metal in it. That had vocals in it. That game had vocals in it. This game has no vocals. It's by Epic Games. What do you expect? Not, not, not slandering okay, on Epic Games or anything. An ambitious new game from a new independent studio in Europe, starring some very familiar names. Enjoy this world premiere. New game. World premiere. Officer Taylor Medlog, twenty-nine. Chris's voice actor. Today, uh, I can't believe what I saw. This is Chris, right? This is Chris's voice actor, no? Redfield. Let's race. Another sci-fi game? Come on, how many of these are going to be there? Okay, this is this might be Dead Space. Well, I might be completely wrong. I, I cannot be, never be right with the cyber games, man. It could be something else. Something is going on here. Terra, isn't that that's? And I need to find out what it is. There you go, Fort Solace. I was right all along. Troy Baker. Ah, I knew that sounded from. Yeah, Troy Baker. Isn't he sound for uh, voice actor that's for Chris? Who it is. 
Troy and Roger in person. Guys, uh, this is so fun, the fact that you're working on a game together. What a cool team up. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, Good to be here. I got to ask you guys, uh, who are your characters in this game? Well, uh, what is it about? Why? Just why? But okay, I'm interested. A little bit. Center of this mystery that we'll discover and uncover as we go through the game, and of course, my character will be at times in opposition with Roger's character. The battle yeah. we've been waiting to see. <laughs> Every once in a yeah, yeah. Oh man, we can't wait to show you what we've been working on. And by the way, Jeff, this looks awesome, man. Yeah, so I'm, good. I'm curious now. Who's the voice actor for Chris Redfield in RE5 or RE Village? One of the first major ones for a while, and I play a character by the name of Jack Leary. He's a maintenance engineer on a remote Martian mining post. Oh, it was Aaron Black, really? Equipment breaks down while it's on their graveyard shift. The graveyard shift meaning Mars and Earth are really far apart from each other, and their orbits around the sun. So help is not a simple call away. Uh, I gotta ask. I, I think a lot of people will see this thing, and they'll probably wonder. You know, it's a new team, right? Uh, n you know, independent studio in Europe that's making this. But seems nervous. Production values. I'm curious, like, how did you guys get attached to this? Tell us a bit about the background. I I will say that 2020. It relates the same as Ari Three Carlos. Oh, I heard that um, Carlos's Spanish voice actor is the same as Miguel's voice actor. Pandemic and that forced the way that we look at everything as a society, but also the way this industry functions. But it was also brand new consoles. We had more tools that were being made available that were leveling the playing field between like the AAA studios and the indie studios or the triple i studios and so just like anybody else we got reached out uh james tinsdale with this brand new studio said we'd like for you to uh consider being a part of this game and he walked me through a very <laughs> brief description of what the experience was going to be like and at the very beginning he said it's we want this to feel it's a it's a tight thriller we want it to feel like dead but space. just the amount of thriller games that are coming out dude i feel like especially space games they should, yeah, I don't know, I, I don't feel like it's, an, uh, it's way too much. It's it's bringing down the hypes of the other thriller games that are coming out. Like, no way. So you, so you announced Dead Space right before anything else. Now we have Callisto Protocol, so I feel like Callisto Protocol looks way better than Dead Space. But for people who love Dead Space, it's just going to be that people are going to love that game, right? But they're going to still be conflicted to, you know, where the hype is going to be. Is it going to be between Callisto or is it going to be between Dead Space? Both the games look so actually similar in a way. But obviously it's Dead Space because obviously iconic. Who's that, Isaac? Main character for the game? I haven't played it. Played the first, like, third part of it for a little bit. And I got bored. Quick story, yeah. If I can, um, it was one of our favorite. Moments. But then we have this game. Um, there is a lot of action in this game, and that was at the the, the forefront of this. If you're gonna hype up a thriller game, especially like a sci-fi thriller game, just make it a one, one specific game, right? And then hype it up, and then you can announce these games after that big, Dead Space has finished, and then you can announce these games. And so Roger and I sat down. We said, "These are where our characters are," and he goes, "Give me one hour, and I will come back to you with the story of this fight." And Dead Space 2 is better than 1. I wouldn't know. I haven't played any of them. I don't know which. I don't, I don't know which one I played. I think I played the third one directly. I really lost interest. I can't do this. And he grabbed me by my shoulders and he says, Oh, you can. You will. And it's going to be glorious. I mean, I'll check out the remake if it's good. If it looks good. If it plays good, I'll check out the remake, obviously. If it's not, I'll just skip it. I would rather play Cal Callisto Protocol compared to Dead Space. Troy, Roger, thanks for joining us here. Happy to be here. Summer Thank Fest. you. All right, appreciate it very much, guys. All right, well, next up, keeping up with the space theme, it's time to world premiere another space a very game. exciting new game, which will feature a musical score by industry legend Mick Gordon. This Mick Gordon? Holy shit. This could be interesting. <laughs> Mick Gordon's making this music? Damn. Guy that <laughs> made Killer Instinct music and Doom music? going on here would you say this is that space looks like it
Aliens? Lots of experiencing with me me other metal twists. Yeah, I've heard. This looks like aliens. Hey, is this the alien sequel? Oh, this might be the a this might be the alien sequel. Like the actual first alien sci-fi horror game? Might be a sequel. But then again, why does Mick Gordon's music come into play? I might be wrong. Making assumptions here. Uh oh. Oh, wait, what? Teen. I don't know how to feel about it. It's coming for Xbox and PC. No PS4, PS5. Now, does that look great? That was routine coming to Xbox and PC. It was first announced a decade ago and is now officially back. I can't wait to see more. Now it's time to check in with a very special guest who's been in his fair share of video games, including most recently Fortnite as the foundation. Dwayne Johnson, welcome to Summer Game Fest. How Dwayne Johnson? What's up, everybody? Damn. What's up Obviously from his gym. And what is up to the Summer Game Fest audiences live streaming right now around the world and everybody inside the epic IMAX theater. Dwayne Johnson here coming at you. From my Iron Paradise, the this is repping his gym. Sweaty and smelly Iron Paradise, uh, powered by, of course, Zoa Energy. Damn, this guy's repping. He's 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 there for a reason. He's repping. It's a guy from all time. The Rock, La Roca in Spanish, uh, Uncle Handsome, sexiest man alive, uh, big drink energy. Always room for a cheesy joke. There's always room for the extra large cheese pizza, especially when I'm delivering and I deliver them often. Uh, you guys also know <laughs> this is a guy from Fortnite. Greatest and most electrifying. This is gameplay, by the way. This is gameplay. This is the rock simulator. This is a, this is exactly what you gotta do when this game comes out. You just keep on watching the rocks, rock talking, and repping stuff. Teams over there, and we cannot wait to show you what we have in store for the future. And speaking of the future, <laughs> this graphic sucks. <laughs> Get 1080p, dude. Get on a level. At 4K, 1080p. What's going on? He's probably recording it on a Nokia. But the only difference, well, there's a few differences, but one of the biggest differences is Superman's weakness is magic. And Black Adams, one of his superpowers is magic. So you do the math. Uh, October 21st, I can I remember correctly. Black Adam around the world in theaters only. And you guys will finally see the hierarchy of power in the DC universe. I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will, Mr. Dwayne. I'm Adam, sure we will. It, was a, it is a role that's in my DNA and that I was born to play. I was born to play the man in black. And I'm honored to show it to you guys on October 21st. So until then, uh, isn't October 21st supposed to be like a big event? What's what's hap what happens on October 21st? At that date, oh, it's my cousin's birthday. Fuck. This is Black Adam. Black Adam. I think. What have your powers ever given to you? Nothing but. Have my guai, my guai, <laughs> my guai. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> My guy, Dwayne. My guy, Dwayne. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm tired, man. Come on, I just jumped on to work. I'm hungry. I need food. My guy, Dwayne. Like, nah. I mean, these trailers are good and all, but when you actually go and see the movie, you're like, where is this trailer action? What am I looking at now? Am I being scammed for my money? The, the same thing happened with Wonder Woman. 
all the best shots. I mean, obviously they do it, but yeah, but still. When you went to see the movie, you're like, did I buy an Amazon version of Wonder Woman? What's going on here? Dude, they gotta stop making a lot of these game, a lot of these like shooter games, man. It, it's getting tedious. Uh, so many shooter games, so many. When will you stop? So many games like these. Like I can imagine the time and effort that goes into making it, but especially after it comes out. When the sales in initially drop or people stop playing it, it just, it's just sad, you know, in a way. Exactly, I, even, even, um, even Godfall. That game flopped big time. And they came from making a DLC or stuff for it. People played it for like maybe what, a day or something and then never heard of it again. Godfall was so hyped up and it ended up being shit and now, oh this is Outriders okay well shit this is a, this is a DLC for Outriders was to show how much I played that game oh my god this is a Nintendo Switch game so I thought that was Kevin Hart Oh, Cuphead got a DLC. I try that. Not gonna lie, some of the some of the games shown on the Switch were way better than this game shown right now. Honestly. Hey, FES, remember we bought Fall Guys, purchased it. We actually bought this game. I think I think FPS left. Like, nah, this 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 ain't worth it. Oh, he's still here. Okay. One day later, and um, it gets announced as being free. Pretty sure this is gonna be announcement of that same thing. It's gonna be free now. Yeah, we bought it and we never played it. Throttling in my library too. <laughs> oh man, this hurts my soul. I just hurt seeing this. I just hurt seeing this. It hurts my soul and my wallet. All platforms, including Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PC, and PlayStation. My bank account. Right, back to another new game announcement. We're going to announce a brand new game and universe from a new team of legendary developers. Check this out. Bad Dynamco World Premiere. Oh my God! Oh, I don't really know it's gonna. Wait, let's not judge a book by its cover. Let's see what's going on. Frost Giants might be good. Might be sick. Valheim 2. Shepard. Mass Effect. Oh, another one. As soon as I heard Shepard, Mass Effect. Okay, hurry. be some sort of a new Mass Effect game, I think. Hundred percent. Command, I may be on to something. It has to be right.
So what, she's turning back time? Yeah, I beg to differ. So how do you boys like that? <laughs> exactly, this is just a sci-fi game show. Superman? Give us a ki I, I need a kaiju battle game. I need a game that gives us like a proper kaiju battles. When, whenever that that kind of game is coming out, I know Bayonetta has, has one of that. But when is a good kaiju game gonna come out? The last game, the last good kaiju game that came out was Godzilla back on the PS2 days. Godzilla Battle for the Earth or something. People, people. There's a storm coming. Hell's coming with it. Stormgate. Okay, I was complete. I will shut up for the entirety of this plate of this stream. Tim, congratulations. Stormgate is real. We have a name and some. Is it Tim? Uh, so, first of all, congratulations. Is that Tim there? We're so excited. Guys, I, I, knew, I knew it. I told you. He's been on a vacation. This is what he's been doing creating another sci fi game. Portals opened during a massive solar storm that unleashed the infernal host on future Earth. Freaking Tim. And we saw some hints of some, ra I mean, you know, you guys coming from Blizzard and StarCraft, everyone wants to know about races. Uh, you know, tell us about the sides in this RCS game. Yeah, we're unveiling our first two... Blizzards are uh, the devs for uh, so World of Warcraft, no? No, for fuck's sake, Tim. <laughs> this is what Tim's been doing, see? I told you, don't trust him. He's been making another sci-fi game. He's working with Blizzard. I think one thing everyone wants to know about, especially your background pedigree of the team of you know where do you want to push the rts genre it's something we've all loved for decades but you know opportunity for a lot of innovation um i know you're going to show us i think some some hints of where you're going to go Im image wise with the actual gameplay made we don't want to see it move on to the next game genre jesus absolutely I, but the first thing i want to say is we are very consciously trying to stay true to what our players already love about rts um where we're really trying to push the genre Innovative. First off, approachability. Um, for one thing, we're free to play, uh, but no pay to win, no NFTs, nothing like that. Um, just to lower that barrier to entry. If you look at if you look at the shadow on his uh, on his T-shirt, it looks like a. Campaign cooperatively. We've got three-player open-ended co-op, um, and we've even got three versus three for competitive multiplayer. This is why I would never wear, wear anything, any plain white T-shirts anywhere. Kind of I would have have I would need to have some sort of graphics on them, yeah, or it it needs to be some like not reflective. On, some exactly why. Wow. Well, I I love it. Now, 2023, assets. Oh my God! It's one of these games. Oh, it's another League of Legends. RTS franchise coming from you guys and your background and what you did, you know, at Blizzard and StarCraft. We're so excited about this team, Frost Giant. Uh, thank you so much for giving us your... Why? Why? We don't need more games so like these. Oh. Uh, all right, Frost Giant, Stormgate, keep an eye out for it. Now it's time for another indie game announcement that I'm excited to share with you. High Water. Check this one out. Uh, what? Yeah, it looks like a MOBA. He did say it's RTS. Alphaville authorities continue to deny false rumors that Alphaville elites are planning to evacuate to Mars. True or not, the one thing we can't deny Dude. is that the world ended on a sunny day. Oh, this was a game that was announced a long time ago, wasn't it? The games are specifically made for you to put to sleep. If you, don't, if you cannot sleep, play these type of games. If you're having trouble sleeping, just play these type of games. Yeah. 
and it's going away. No, actually, this is a different game. I was thinking of a different game. It looks kind of similar though. Minions. Hi, Water. Coming 2022. Hey, look, another game. I Bloody won't be playing as well. Breathtaking trailer. High Water is an adventure strategy game set in a world ravaged by extreme climate change. Now, speaking of the world around us, the conflict in Ukraine is not far from anyone's mind, and it's impacted the development of games, including Replaced from Sad Cat Studios, a Belarusian studio with Replaced. Dead Belarus and Ukraine. The team had long hoped to reveal a new trailer here today, but were understandably unable to complete it in time. Guys, I just want to say we're thinking of you and all the developers impacted by the conflict. This looks nice. Cyberpunk 2D. All right, our next game is an official selection of the Tribeca Games Festival. It's American Arcadia, where you play Trevor, whose life is being televised with the viewing population constantly voting you up or down. When you become unpopular, you need to start running for your life. Check this out. Just like real life? Picture a city where technology and science go hand in hand. Oh my god, another game to put you to sleep. Oh my god, can you... Uh, right, 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 right. My grandfather, Elijah Walton, had a dream. To build the city of tomorrow. That dream is now a reality. And that city is Arcadia. A 43 square mile metropolis where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. What? Broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every digital platform. Jesus. Arcadia. Control. Subject on the run on camera 4025. Interrupt broadcast immediately. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Listen to me. We can't allow Trevor Hills to escape under any circumstances. Trevor. Trevor, can you hear me? Be careful and don't make a sound. Don't Tap, she's a gamer. I'm going to get you out of there. Okay. Looks alright. We've made it to the beach. Next up is a sequel we've all been anticipating for a long time. There's trouble in paradise, and watch out, you don't want to get bitten. After many years of rumors, we finally get an update on this much anticipated sequel. Sequel? This game exists? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Probably DMC, I'm gonna mute it, don't risk it, because I'm gonna put this on YouTube as well. What the hell, man? What? Did that? What is going on, bro? Goat simulator? Oh, it's probably a goat simulator. Is it? One would assume, right? One would assume this is a goat simulator. That's just chocolate, bro. Yep, goat simulator. Three! Was the second part? There's a parody of Dead uh, Deadline. What, what was it with zombies? Um, Goat Simulator Three. Dead Rising. Later this year to the Epic Game Store. 
Now, last year, Marvel Ooh. Marvel's Midnight Sun, Finally. A tactical RPG from Paraxis Games. This might go really... It, it could be really well or it could be really bad. There is no in-between. X-Men crossover with supernatural ones like Blade and Ghost Rider for a battle against Lilith, the mother of demons. The mother of demons. we got to look at some new folks set to join the battle. Udeman? Oh, this is a game that Mick Gordon should make music for. Oh, Venom! Venom is joining, nice. No thanks, bro. Damn, it, it looks like the classic Venom from the old Spider-Man games. Ooh, I knew it. I'm need some backup. Definitely, definitely you read Lovental. Definitely uh, you read Lovental's voice actor. Oh, I'm hella getting this game. Jesus. Might be hella DMCA. Damn, Venom got an upgrade. Venom got a hella upgrade. Don't know how to feel about that, though. <laughs> Wait, when is it coming out? Counting on you again, old friend. Three, two, one. That used to always work. Well, it did that one time. What is it when did they give a date for it? I didn't pay attention. That was Midnight Suns, and now we're moving on to the wonderful world of Cuphead, the delicious ah. last course. And do, can you believe it? We're only a couple. Did anyone catch a date for that? From playing the delicious last course DLC, we'll see how they did that for Cuphead. Join me now is Maya Maldenhauer from Studio MDHR. So first of all, Maya, it's really coming. It's really coming June thirtieth on all major. <laughs> is it really though? <laughs> well, I'm so thrilled too. Would you tell me if it was? Can't stop. That this is here, and I've been. Lucky enough to play this actually on my Steam Deck uh, last week and you guys gave me a copy. This, I, I can't, people are not going to be ready for how amazing this looks and the backgrounds and what you guys have done. I feel like you've, you've amped up, obviously, the gameplay. It's difficult, as we would expect, but the visual look, you guys have taken it even to the next level, which I didn't think was possible. I got a couple people going boot around half. It's, it's, a, it's a hard game. It's a tough game. It's, really it's a tough game. Took everything to the next level from animation, the backgrounds, the music, gameplay design, um, and of course a new playable character, Miss Chalice. I'm very proud of her. Chalice is fun to play as, and, and even though this is a DLC, it's its like own game inside of Cuphead in many ways. It is, it is, definitely. Yeah, you just get get on the island, and, and there you are off to this new uh, new territory, which is amazing. Yeah, it's our biggest island yet, supersized bosses, lots of secrets to discover. Um, don't let any rock go unturned. Yes, and lots of challenge ahead. Well, I know you brought gameplay. Don't care. Next game. A little something. Yeah, it's a uh, brand new gameplay footage of one of our. <laughs> Why do I do this thing to myself? Um, it features some of my personal favorite um, attacks and transformations. We hope everyone enjoys it. All right, let's check it out. Cuphead, the delicious last course. Thanks, Maya. Thanks, Maya. Hmm. Oh, pretty. I love the animation of this game, though. It's an old cartoon animation. 
Cuphead is a good game, it's just that it's very tough. You need a lot of time and patience to play it. Especially uh, a lot of brain usage. Like that. Turn into a giant snowflake. Keeps on throwing shit at you. Oh, it's I come out. I didn't realize that. Oh, that guy reminds me of that uh, that one guy from... Uh, what's that animated cartoon? Uh, what's that? What's that dog and the dog and this other guy? The yellow dog. Adventure time. Adventure time. Summer Game Fest all weekend long. Coming up next is the Day of the Dead Indie Showcase with I Am 8 Bit and Double Fine, then Devolver's Marketing Countdown to Marketing. Tomorrow, after Geek Week, there is the Epic Game Store Showcase at 11 a.m. Is it over? Eastern, which is on Rocket League and the Tribeca Game Showcase. And Sunday, don't miss the Xbox and Bethesda. Don't care of any of those. With a look at the future of Xbox and Game Pass. Now we have some exciting news for Nintendo Switch and PC fans about Neon White, a game where you play an assassin from hell who slays demons with a chance to ascend to heaven. Look, uh, sounds promising. I take that back. I immediately take that back. I immediately take that back. We're called Neons. Sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work. I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. I think they're gonna show that new um, Hero Wars game, the, the creators from Genshin Impact. I think it's called Zenless Zone Zero. Is that a cat? Hey FPS, you made a cameo. Not with the five, six, seven. You're just FPS. My eyes. That could have been so much better the way he explained it. Now it's time for a game made by a single father in Poland. Single father in Poland. Whoa. For a fast-paced action game. Midnight Fight Express to life. Let's take a look. Fighting game. Interesting. Could be interesting. Oh no. Why do the posters look so good? Get knocked down. Get up again. That whole spiel. Well, it's time, partner. Time to rise up. Together. Oh my god. But it is made by one guy, though. It is made by one guy. But, I mean... Time and effort, dude. Especially being a father and all that. Is that Joker? Most print life prices? It's got a Fortnite dance. The shuffle. Whatever it's called. Yeah, but these type of games tend to have really good um, soundtracks. Really good soundtracks. Such a cool game, and I'm happy to announce that a PC demo of this game is going live right now on Steam, and will be part of the Steam Next Fest next week. I really mm. want more playable games to get in the hands of you guys at home, and that's Ooh. what I'm checking out. All right, joining me now is Megan from Digital Extremes to talk all things Warframe. Megan, how you doing? I'm so good. My fellow Canadian. I know. We got like, we just happen to always have these Canadian teams on the show. I don't we know how that connection. works out, right? Okay. We no one cares. Just move on with it. Oh my god. So many other good games to announce. 
Twitch for more than 30 minutes, this show is going to get a special Twitch drop, right? That's right. I already have seen people getting it, yes. so it's very exciting. <coughs> right there, loud and proud. Yeah. Tortilla, 30 minutes for watching. Thank you for letting us kind of take over oh. your special, special events category. category. But she is there, and she is for you if you are properly linked up. No, Warframe, you know, as I said, we've done a lot over the years. You guys have done incredible things with the game, and I know... You have Tenocon coming up in July. Tenocon? Wow. What can you tell us? Well, I can't tell too much. Um, but yeah, July 16th, 2022. It's a digital event. Thank you. The end of the year. Uh, today, actually, we just launched the digital items for it. So you can get some in-game goodies, some really cool cosmetics, some merch, all that really great stuff went live today. But of course, the reason I'm here is to, you know, kind of debut. We have our Tenno Live during Tenocon, which is our... Dude, if they introduce something for Final Fantasy XIV, I'll be hyped. Maybe a little bit of a, a gameplay, a little bit of a demo, and I think a lot of people can suspect... I haven't heard anything for that game in a while. It's the last update. And what is that? Can I say it? Yes, I think you can. Okay, you're gonna get your first... Tomorrow! The Daviri Paradox. Finally! Finally, I know, I know it's been a couple of years. Uh, but Daviri Paradox is going to be what Tenno Live is all about, and I'm so happy. Uh, the team worked really What's she talking about? about I'm so confused. I'm just really proud and excited to show it. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for being here on Summer Game Fest. Let's take a look at that right now. Okay. My child, my friend, what was done is done. New dangers. New choices await us now. Can I actually see their faces now? You play the hand you're dealt. This game is basically space samurais and space ninjas. Ooh. Katana, is that you? Okay. It's time for a new look at Hongkai Star Rail, an upcoming open world space RPG. Yeah, a lot of space today from Genshin Impact Studio. Yeah, no sh. Let's see. This studio continues to deliver, and this new trailer reveals for the very first time a new and exotic realm players will be able to explore. Might be interesting, but I keep on saying that for everything, that how however he explains it. Yours. Okay, it is done by yours. You are in a daze right now. But what happened to Zenless Zone Zero? Did they cancel that? You are. Why you're here? None of that matters. No kiss. In the near future, you will encounter many perils. You will meet companions who treat you like family, and embark on unimaginable. I might jump on this game. To be honest. I'm quite sad I couldn't jump onto Genshin Impact as soon as it came out. Star Rail, okay. When is it coming out though? Release date, please. Wine to soothe the souls of honored guests. Welcome aboard the Cien Jola Pool. Coming soon, oh god. There we go, that's the one. 
excited to introduce you to Zenless Zone Zero, their next major new IP. It's a futuristic urban action game. I have to say I'm blown away by what I've seen so far. It was announced a couple weeks ago, and it has the detail of Genshin Impact with a fast-paced action style. Mm. Here is the world premiere of a brand new look at Zenless's notable characters, armed enemies, and world of danger. World. Danger. Okay. I already see my waifu, which I need to get. If I do enjoy playing this game, or if the gameplay looks good. I can't believe they announced two games. I wasn't expecting the other one. Damn. Coming soon as well. Ah, where's the release date? One of my favorite reveals last year was TMNT Shredder's Revenge, which reminds us all of the Turtles arcade games back in the day. Mm. Well, it's nearing the end of development. This looks really nice. We wanted to use SGF as a way to reveal one exciting aspect of the game they've been keeping under wraps until now. Yeah, this game looks really fun. Basically Tekken 3, Tekken 4s with uh, TMNT. Or like Streets of Rage, in a way. Hmm, four players? Six player mode, whoa, wow. If anyone's gonna get this game, let me know. I'm definitely gonna try this out. Probably play with some exotic tricks or something. I like the art style. Really slick. June 16th, ah. Oh. Hey, that's not far off, holy shit. My god. Don't tell me. Imagine if they show Tekken 8 here. I'll be losing my shit. Okay, whatever that was.
from Latin America. I have this game. I thought I would enjoy it. I found it boring after like a day or so. I have it. It's like just rotting in my Steam library. Cultures of Latin America. It's happening right now, what am I looking at? It's obviously a trailer. But not a trailer at the same time. How far will you push? Oh, it's the same shit. Oh my god, it still went on forever. Goddamn. Humankind allows you to shape your civilization by combining a multitude of historical civilizations from the ancient to the modern era. One Piece is celebrating its 25th One Piece or oh, this game. Bandai Namco is bringing the mega popular franchise back to video games with One Piece Odyssey. Monkey to Luffy and his crew of pirates are off on their next adventure. This trailer reveals the setting, a mysterious island where Luffy and his strong... Isn't this supposed to be that RPG game? ...in this exciting upcoming JRPG. Yeah, there we go. The Straw Hat Pirates journeying along the Grand Line. Look at that island! Damn. Service. Okay. Tony Chopper? What? I've never seen this anime. Don't like. Way too much. Way too many episodes. What the hell, man? Name one JRPG that was really good. Or just like. Like a really good JRPG, just name one good JRPG. A really fun and engaging JRPG, which never died. And hidden mysteries. Unravel the adventure that awaits. God. Okay. This is a world created from memory. This August, Soul Hackers 2 from Atlas launches, and we've got your first listen to the English voice cast with this quick new look. What? Another JRPG. Take my hand. You get one more chance to make things 
Soul Hackers 2. SGF events, you might be wondering how to plan for your summer gaming dream. Nerd Wallet can help you find the smartest credit card Nerd Wallet. for gaming purchases at nerdwallet.com. The Epic Mega Sale is going on right now. Save up to 75% off top PC titles with an additional 25% off eligible products. And it wouldn't be the Mega Sale without the free games vault featuring Maneater. Be sure to claim your copy before the sale ends on June 16th. Tune into the Epic Games Store Twitch channel for our summer showcase on June 10th. Okay. PM Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. We're taking a look at new announcements and updates from PC titles heading to the store this year and beyond. Where's Gotham Knights, by the way? I know there's Gotham Knights. Uh, Gotham Knights are much show off as well. The. I'm trying to stay awake. Like, really. Chuck painted my eyelids with some, um, some open eyes. Like, uh, Jack Sparrow. Street Fighter I'll find there. So like, exactly, me too, man. Come on, what the fuck? They keep on doing this, I swear to god. You're gonna get hit with the unexpected in Mario Strikers Battle League. In this no holds barred. What? Mario football? Oh my god, I can all I can already imagine the uh, FIFA chaps. FIFA chaps. Thank god I'm not working for Nintendo. Hi, my name is Carl and Oh this is the game. This is the game, this is the game, this is the game. Based on rhythm. But what if you had to? In metal, the better you are at slaying to the beat, the more intense everything gets. And we have vocal performances from legendary artists like Serge Tankian from System of a Down. So while headbanging isn't mandatory, we do recommend... Oh, it already had it? Oh, so it's a port? Okay. Xbox and PlayStation platforms, so go check it out and slay to the beat. Wait, did it say it's live? Basically reminiscent of Dante's music. Dante's team from a DMC5. Subhuman. Any of these bands anyone recognize? I'm not I'm not into much of like knowing bands. I know Trivium. No Lamb of God. Starbucks pretty good, not gonna lie. Did he say it was out already? Or is it in his demo? I try it out tomorrow. Metal Hellsinger. Oh, demo out now, okay. That one was Metal Hellsinger coming later this year from Funcom, a rhythm shooter with metal music. And right now, as they mentioned, a demo has launched on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. I wonder if it's DMCA though, but I think they made their music specically Next for up, the games. A new game 
launches tomorrow. The quarry. Tomorrow. Ooh. Best thing I've heard all day in this. Upstate New York. Here's the first look at the launch trailer. Family is the most important thing in the world. Come out tomorrow. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope, how can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. You pull on that rope and you're just Jump scare incoming. Uh, Three, two, one. And what's the point of that? Come on. What? No. There is a lot more to this than you realize. Like what? Kidnapping, murder, cover ups. I think the whole Hackett family is in on it. You have no idea what's going Cannibals? on. Cannibals? Not a goddamn clue. Ooh, what is that? You mean nine one one? Who says ninety one one? Yeah, from the creators one until dawn. I played the full one which came out before this. What was it? House of Ashes? Not 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 House of Ashes. What's the other one? What Wendigos. Them's the rules, you noob. Call us you, call you noob. No, 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 here is your exclusive new look. Yeah, House of Ashes. House of Ashes. House of Ashes. You're alone in the realms, I'm afraid, but the portals are a mess. Not even sure if night and Oh, this is a game that just showed off a long time ago. Given how Ooh. fragile you humans are. I'd say that staying fed you know if it's this type of games I might buy it it's a building game survival game yeah can't know no. you can activate the portal beware though foul things lurk in the interrealmic void waiting to get in It's a lot of sweet fires. Damn, the double barrel shotgun looks nice. I'm I'm pretty sure they're keeping the best for last. Like most of it. How long is it supposed to go, by the way? How long is it supposed to be? It's already one and a half hour already now. So you can actually build shit. Think of this, and all is mended. Ah, it's for PC only. My PC will die if I play this game. My PC will just take off with the space. The Saints are marching in on August 23rd with the reboot of Saints Row that we revealed last year at Game. Like we need a reboot of this game. Announced the launch of the Boss Factory demo across PC and console, which lets you design and set up your character. And since it's Saints Row, you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this one. Check it out. Like we needed a reboot. people's attention so what do we build next don't make this game don't make it a reboot
Oh, is there actual nudity in the game? God damn. I take, back what, I take back whatever I said. There's nudity in the game? Damn. Sexiness? Oops. That was a picture of a dev. Might be DMC here to be honest. Fuck. Completely forgot. Imagine this is the game that gets me DMC aid. On YouTube. Out of all the things I'm muted. Because I forget. Is it done yet? No, no, it's still going on. Next, we've got an exclusive first look at extended gameplay of Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, Fat Shark's follow up to the critically acclaimed Vermintide series. Dark Tide promises intense four player co op action and terrifying enemy hordes to team up against. And it's out on September 13th for PC, on Steam, and exclusively on console on Xbox. Main man will be hyped for this one. Man. Hmm, looks alright, right? In terms of graphics, it does look alright. the manliest game the frick that's a lot of enemies man Okay. This is what ha this is what happens when they decide to show way too many games, man. State of play is good because they decide to show only like a couple of few games for thirty minutes. Bloober team is known for psychological horror games like Blair Witch and the Medium. Today, they are ready to reveal their latest creation made completely in Unreal Engine 5 for a visceral horror experience. It's a return to the world of layers of fears. Get a dose of this. Is it a DLC or is it a new game? Someone once said insanity runs in our family. Let it run. Damn, this looks actually spooky.
Okay. I'm terrified. Uh, wait, what? Now I see it. All this misery. All this suffering. There was no other way. You shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. Paid an Unreal Engine 5. I'm trying to see how I feel about it. Layers of Fears, okay. So the first game was called Layer of Fear, right? Or Layers of Fear? This is called Layers of Fears. This October, oh, there we go. Batman is dead, and it's up to the Batman family, Batgirl, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Robin, to protect Gotham. To give us an exclusive new look, let's head to Montreal to hear from executive producer, Fleur Marty. Fleur Marty. I think that's it. I think we're coming close to the end of the presentation. Executive producer on Gotham Knights. Today, we are thrilled to share more with you on one of our beloved Knights, Nightwing. This showcase is the first in our character series, and we're really looking for the layer of your seas. As we continue <laughs> right. looking for the launch on October 25th. So I hope you enjoy the show and stay tuned. Very different gameplay now. That was Batman in there, I saw that. Oh, that might be Batgirl though. Deserves to feel safe. Meet being. Oh, new costumes. No matter how hard we try, there's always more to do. It's cool that they're showing off the costumes as well. Okay. That was Gotham Knights, and now we welcome. Oh, look who it is! Neil Druckmann from Naughty Dog, uh, co-president of Naughty Dog. Uh, mm. Great to have you with us, Neil. It's been a uh, an eventful day on the internet for Naughty Dog fans. What do you think? And, uh, we jinxed ourselves. We were joking about last night, like watch the ass assets leak, and yes. lo and behold, that's what happened. Well, the good news is there's some stuff that hasn't leaked that we have lots to share with people about uh, all things at Naughty Dog, but. First of all, it is a you know it's a big month actually for Last of Us fans because uh, Last of Us One and Two both launched in June and it's nearing its two year anniversary. DLC Last maybe? Uh, part two, which is oh, Last of Us Two. Hard to believe. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, um, you know, nine years for Last of Us One, two years for Last of Us Part Two, and we still hear from fans. They're still sending us letters and art, and these characters in this journey and this world mean so much to them. Um, and it's, it's just been kind of amazing. Like Last of Us Part Two, early this year, passed a pretty big milestone and sold over 10 million units. And that kind of support, that kind of success, um, we're so grateful to our fans. It has allowed us to grow as a studio, and now we can take on multiple projects, more than we've ever had at the same time. 
multiple projects. Okay, very interesting. So uh, what can Last of, Last of Us fans expect in the future from it? Thank you for asking, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, so one of the things we've mentioned a while back is what started out as a multiplayer mode has evolved okay. due to the team's ambition. They really wanted to do something beyond what we've ever done before at Naughty Dog. And we felt the way to do it justice is to make it a standalone title. And over the p they've been working on it for the past two years. Ambition has grown. And we're not quite ready to fully unveil it, but we're ready to lift the curtain a little bit and just give you like an update of where we're at. Okay, well, uh, what can you tell us about this new standalone multiplayer game? Yeah, so uh, we have a concept art that we want to show. Um, standalone uh, multiplayer game. Tell you Whoa. Is that this game is big. Okay. Um, it's as big as any of our single player games that we've done, and in some ways bigger. It's got a story. Is it an MMO for Last of Us? It's quite huge. Um, it's got a brand new cast of characters that take place at another place, uh, another part of the United States. It's like a city might be somewhat familiar to some people. I'm sure our fans have already figured it out. Um, uh, and it's, it's, it's really cool. And it's being headed by Vinith Agarwal, um, Anthony Newman, and uh, Joe Padnati, all veterans of Uncharted and Last of Us. And you're going to see a lot more of this game come next year. Mm. Next year. Okay, wait till next year to hear more about that one. Okay, well, very exciting that uh, this has evolved, and I mean, that concept art looks incredible. I can't wait to see Naughty Dog storytelling fused with multiplayer live game. Uh, it's, it's multiplayer, but is it going to be like a... Okay, okay. well, um, that's not all. We also Tutor. have something that I've been reading about on the internet every day. It feels like up in <laughs> Calgary, they're filming the Last of Us show for HBO, right? Yeah, so uh, for the past year, um, you know, we've... I'll be back. Give me two minutes. <laughs> to adapt The Last of Us into a TV, uh, TV show. Um, they've been filming, and uh, it's pretty incredible. The stuff I'm getting back, when we're looking at back at Naughty Dog, we can't help but feel emotional, because not only is it so good, and the quality is so high, it's so authentic to what we've made in the game. Um, and uh, I, I just can't, I couldn't be proud of, like again, Craig and that whole crew and everybody that's up there. Uh, and they're actually their last day of filming is tomorrow. So the entire series, last day of filming is last tomorrow. Last day of filming is tomorrow. Craig is up there right now, wow. kind of wrapping it all up. Uh, so it's it's pretty close. It's closer than you might think. And you actually got to direct one of the episodes? Yes. Uh, I think that really speaks to the kind of collaboration and trust that exists between Naughty Dog and HBO. They invited me to direct one of the episodes. Um, I think we have an image from the episode I actually directed. Ooh, okay. Um, so we can first look. Let's take... Uh, wow. So you can see uh, this is a certain museum that yep. players might know from the game um and i really have to talk about pedro pascal and bella ramsey and not only directing them but seeing them do all the other episodes they've thrown themselves at these roles um for a whole year v watching the nuance that they bring to these characters their relationship on and off camera i couldn't help but think about troy baker and ashley johnson it felt so similar to the chemistry those two actors had when we made the game um and it really feels like this is going to be something special and I, I will say this will be the most anything interesting what i miss well i mean that first image oh they're still going oh this is live action no for last of us both public and other stuff makes it feel sort of super legitimate as you said and that's awesome to see uh joel and ellie from from the front side now for the first time um so we'll see more of that like next year that's coming as well right? uh you'll hear about it very soon that's, that's okay i'll say right now all right well very right soon eh? very very exciting uh and I hear you actually have a couple actors from the show who are uh, going to join we us here. We happen to have a couple actors here that are part of the show. We should bring them up. Okay, come on up. Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, hello. Surprise. Tro Troy's back again. Oh, they're the um, oh, voice actors for uh, I'm a little confused, though. I, I thought Joel and Ellie. Pedro Bello and Troy Asher out here uh, from the game, right? So uh, when Craig and I started working on the show, almost one of our very first meetings, we said, Troy and Ashley have to be a part of it. Um, and we're such fans of like the talent and the hel like helping us create Joel and Ellie. Um, we felt like it was so important that they become part of the show. And it wasn't, it's, it has to be more than just like kind of like a wink to the camera and like a cameo. Kay. These are real roles that we're keeping under wraps for now. Uh -huh. uh, but man, I was, I'm Oh, real roles in the movie. Uh, there's been so much stuff I so feel like. 
so good. <laughs> on the internet, there's so much like talk about what's being filmed, and I think that's because it kept a complete real secret. roles in the movie, huh? Hmm. Now, obviously, uh, well, keeping yeah. secrets with this franchise is kind of old hat. Like we've except had except for the date. Yeah. 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 <laughs> except for the date. Uh, it was it was one of the hardest things for us to do is to let not let people know that because we're so proud of it and the work that we did. We worked hard. The the crew. I have to say, um, when I walked out on set. Um, to be met with literally every person that I met on that crew uh, is such a fan of this game, and they all knew what it was that they were working mm. on and committed to working on this project because of their... I'm like just nodding because I just want this to end and go to the next segment, uh, but honestly, I'm super things, hungry. Like, uh, I was coming home to friends. Yeah, I, I, the attention to detail, the crew was amazing. Bella and Pedro are... Man. I, they're so perfect. And it, it, we, we've been trying to sort of describe that feeling of sort of seeing them in person. It's, it's like, it's like the characters coming to life. But it, it, it's so much more than that. I feel like I can't fully explain it. But I am so excited to be a part of it, and just I can't wait to see it. I think it is going to be so good. It's, it's. I'm I love the story. I love no, just I, being I'm, a part of. I'm so world. excited. About the series and the fact that you guys are going to be in it and undisclosed roles, I'm so fascinated how it's going to sort of okay. bottom weave in. And, you know, are these characters we know from the game? More the gameplay, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you. So sneaky. All right. Well, we're so excited. To I think it's really nothing. Uh, apparently, Last of Us 2 has a new well, multiplayer game let's talk about what coming out in next year. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be about, but they said it's going to be big. And now we're talking about the live action series for Last of Us. We missed Gotham Knights and uh, uh, other game. I already forgot it. The, the first game that wasn't encumbered by any and uh, Midnight Suns? I think you're there for that. Midnight Suns and Gotham Knights. And now this. Instead of talking about it, let's look at it. All right, let's take a look at the Last of Us Part One. Cra live action trailer. So why'd you leave Boston? Oh, it's coming for the PS5, is it? Oh, it's coming for the PS5 remastered? I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. And it's probably remastered for the PS5. 60 FPS? You know, I've never been this close. 60 FPS. To the outside. So is that everything you hope for? Can't be any worse though. Freaking clickers, man. Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Getting you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? Freaking clickers. If I get in trouble down there, you make every shot count. I got this. That guy's an asshole. <laughs> What's coming out for the PC as well? Ooh. It's coming out for the PC as well. Yeah, People we are going to be happy. Yeah, you're watching it in real time. Yeah. Uh, it's because like, you did these. Perf I mean, these performances you did a decade ago. Yeah. You didn't go back in. I mean, you used the original performances. Yeah. Right? Actually, we we came up with a process where you could take the original. Uh, animation that we did for the faces and kind of like retarget it on these new rigs that have a lot more fidelity and then the animators went back and We're studied mm, Oh, that actually looks really nice. Like change that you went and you redid the models and rebuilt everything? Everything was re uh, rebuilt. Ooh, it actually does uh, it dude. Director, re -art directed the whole thing from the ground up. Um, but the, the great thing about these faces is that um, they're closer to the original performance. All, all the animators went and studied those videos and got it closer That to looks really I might just replay that. Um, and that's just like one of the things um, we could talk about, like this brand new AI, like all the combat is like is, is redone. Um, just uh, the AI has been redone. Okay. In terms of tech and all the stuff you're getting on the PS5. Again, we wanted to give, knowing because of the show, because this, they're all only players for PS5 and PC. Yeah. We wanted them to have the definitive version of The Last of Us. Right. Now 
you guys get to read. I mean, when was the last time you guys played the game? I I actually played it again just to refresh my memory Pretty before bad. working on the show. Uh-huh. Um, I was a just a glutton for punishment, and I went straight from playing uh, part yeah, one it. straight into <laughs> part two. Um, and so the last time that I played literally would have been two years ago since we're celebrating the anniversary of part two coming out. So, I mean, it looks like I'm definitely going to be up for another yeah, playthrough. I can't, I mean, yeah. I can't wait to go back. Cause it was oh, I can't. Uh, you guys do such an amazing job on that. Ability. Are you excited? It's, it's really when you play it, when you see it in motion, it's really yeah. night and day. From Dude, every, okay, that's fine. Yeah, Dude, you it's got so many projects that's good. Yeah. Last of Us part one is coming out, 60 FPS, PS5, PC, all good. Next game, please. Yeah, yeah. Want to play some Tiku? Not right now. I'm really hungry. I, as soon as this ends, I'm going to go eat. Just to give a quick Probably not stream today. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow. Uh, uh, and uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, just want to chill. Get some food and some chill. Because I, I haven't right. taken right. a break. As soon as I finished work, I just directly jumped on streaming this. I haven't even had a shower. I stink. What are you directing? You still making games? Still making games. Uh, I haven't given up my, my day job. Uh, it's a little early to talk about it. Maybe if someone in place wants to leak it, then we can talk about it now. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll save but it. You do have a new project. Do have a new project, yeah. uh, but we'll save it for another summer game fest. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see. We'll try and save it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. so excited that The Last of Us is returning, as you said, in September. Shadows, man. Exactly. Thanks, right. You don't just, you don't right, smell well this thing. That is going to do it. Thanks to Naughty Dog and PlayStation for that very special uh, look at The Last of Us and the entire franchise and where things are going. Um, Finally. Summer Game Fest continues over the next few days. Tell me up right the, now on this actually, that was the last game. Day of the Dead, I am 8 bit, and Double Fine, including an exclusive new look at the planet of Lana. Ah, okay. Tomorrow, we've got. Right, so games that were shown for. The, the hype game that was shown for Midnight Suns, Street Fighter 6, um, Last of Us, I guess, Part 1, Callisto Protocol, kind of hype, I would say. But nothing special, man. For this entire one, two hours of the stream, nothing special. But it is what it is, I would guess. Um, ho really was really hoping to see Tekken 8, though. But I would guess they would keep that for Evo or something of that sort. But yeah, that being said, I am going to end the stream. I'm not going to be back. I'll be back tomorrow playing more Tekken. That being said, take care, stay safe. Aru. Yeah, I'm following Aru, man. Aru is pretty chill. I used to follow Aru during the Tekken 7 days, but then she stopped playing Tekken. Because I was fighting online and then found a Twitch channel and was following her. Right, that being said, stay safe, take care. Good night. Peace, 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 peace. I'm gonna go eat some food. Bye.